Welcome back. Let's see how to solve the question number 19 in CKS Killer Shell Exam Simulator. Question number 19, task rate 2 percentage. And let's switch to the given context. So the deployment immutable dash deployment in the namespace team dash purple should run immutable. It's created from the file the given uh, immutable deployment manifest file is here. Even after a successful break-in, it shouldn't be possible for an attacker to modify the file system of the running container. Modify the deployment in a way that no process inside the container can modify the local file system. Only the temp directory should be writable. Don't modify the Docker image. Save the updated YAML under the deployment-new.yaml and update the running deployment. All right. Let's first inspect uh, the file here. So this manifest doesn't have any restriction imposed at all. So we have to make it immutable. Uh, right so let's see if the file is here if not then we'll copy this file to the new one and then Okay, it's CP. Yeah, and then modify the new file that we have here. So uh, in order to make um, the pod immutable, so we have to make sure uh, we make the file system read only. So we have to introduce the security context for that. So uh, we will go in here. For the container section. Just for the container section. We'll now add the security context. And the security context name is read only root file system. We'll set that to true. So this will make it immutable. So even someone gains access to the pod will not be able to modify or make any changes, right? And another requirement part of this question is we have to make only the temp directory to be writable. So what we can do for that is we can mount volume uh, on the pod specification level. We'll add volumes and we'll give it a name, let's say temp. And when it starts, ideally it should be an empty directory, right? And then we have to mount the volume that we created here, volume mount. So it's volume mounts and volumes, okay, volume mounts. And the name of the volume, sorry, let's set the volume mount path and its temp. And the name of the volume is temp. So that should be it. 
we'll save this so we have now modified the file now we have to inspect the running deployment kubectl edit deployment immutable deployment in the namespace team purple this is just to see if it is doing any other thing than than we did here not really On the other terminal, I'm switching to the context. Let's inspect the file once again, just to make sure it's, it's the same thing. 132, 32, that's a piece of box image. Perfect. So let's take a backup of this one. Nineteen deployment backup demo, and then we'll delete this. Uh, delete the deployment. This deployment in this namespace, and we'll force. Okay, it's deleted. Just inspect. No deployment found. Now let's create this deployment from the file that we just created. Let's get the deployment. The deployment is there. Um, now let's put it to test, uh, right? So kubectl exec into the pod. Exec into into the immutable deployment part. So now that we know it is immutable, right, let's try and create a file test.txt. So it says it's a read-only file system, which is good. Now let's create the same thing under the temp directory. It should be, uh, we should be able to write Perfect, it works. So let's check if it has created the file that we just created. It does. So we have made the deployment or the pod immutable now uh, with an exception that it can right to the temp directory. So that's it for this question and thanks for your time.